now, I work with youth all the time. I'm always amazed and surprised how many young people don't have someone that they trust, knows that loves them, mm -hmm. that can put them in check. There is a lack of adult male figures and, and female figures as well, right? But since we're talking about football and stuff like that, there's so many kids out there that don't have that big brother, the father figure, mm -hmm. you know, and obviously, Kenneth, you know, we've talked about this before. There's so many people missing that person that can say, hey, you're wrong, bro. And then you look at them and you go, oh, my gosh. Like, Because as a young person, we get carried away. We start talking. We, you know, we get a little loose. I had one experience at the University of Utah. I'll never forget the experience. I don't know why this experience stands out in my head. Well, I do know why. But it's interesting that it was such a small thing, and it changed the way I looked at so many things. Remember Coach Bollinger? Yeah. Right? Played in the NFL. Right. Right? Big behemoth of man, but he lost a bunch of weight. He was that cool coach when I was a freshman. I could just go there. You know, you just sit and hang out in the coach's office for no reason. Like, me and my coach didn't get along all that well. <laughs> you know, there's certain coaches, Fred, you know, Fred Whittingham, right? That was, I'd go hang out with Coach Fred's. I'd go into Bollinger's office, and I would just talk story with them. And so for a while there, you, you start to get loose, you start to get comfortable, and you think that you're friends, right? Yeah. And so I made the mistake one time, I was joking, and I, and I said something. It wasn't super disrespectful, but I said something, yeah, like, you know, your, your, your wife wishes that. Or I said something like your wife or your kids. And he was like this, like on his computer, he stopped. And he looked at me, he goes, don't you ever put my wife and my kids' words in your mouth. And I just, uh, like, <laughs> like, I was like, what? And I was, uh, and I was like, I was retracting, what did I just say? Like, I'm like, did I say something wrong? And then I like looked at him, he goes, hey, Cos, I still love you. I'm just saying, don't ever say Like, that there's a line, so don't yeah. step across. And I just it, yeah. looked at him, I said, uh, yes, sir. And even though he, he was big, but even if he was small, I looked at him, I'm like, I just got put in check. I needed to get put in check, and in a weird way, it was okay. Like, it, we had a relationship. I knew that I could trust that he was doing that for my betterment. He sure. was putting me in check because I obviously was getting a little carried away. You know, you come in as a freshman, you're cocky, you're starting. Oh, yeah, you know, you think you're all bad, stuff like that. And then, just so happens, a week later, I get the grades come out. It was a 1.0 or a 0 <laughs> 0.08 is what my first GPA was. Coach McBride puts all the guys on the one side of the on one side of the meeting room, right? Puts us all there. He goes, "All you guys stay. Everybody else can go." There's like 35 of us. He went through every single person, like what? Blah, blah, like pulled out our report cards in front of the whole team, and we're just putting us on blast, right? Saves me for last. He's like, "Kozlowski, wait, you don't think we know about you in high school? You don't even know where your classes were at." Okay, I'm going to guess. Third period, like he was pulling out my college schedule. What do you have at 10 a.m. on Thursdays? And I looked at him, and I didn't know. He's like, exactly. You didn't get one point GPA. Like, he just he, he just started reaming into me. I put my tail between my legs, head down, blasting me. When we walked out of there, gave me a big hug. You're going to have, like, ten tutors. Going to get to know them pretty well. Follow what they say. Gave me a hug. You can do it. Next, next quarter, 3.2. Yeah. Just, I mean, it was like I needed someone to say, you're an idiot, but it's all right. You can make it up. That's not who you are, just what you're going through. Smack, smack you upside the head, figuratively, of course, and get back to work. Oh.